Hello, it's Ugi and welcome back to Hangar Ting. It's episode 5. Welcome back everyone. I'd just like to say welcome to all our new subscribers. It's lovely to have you here and thank you for doing that. If you are enjoying the content, please like, subscribe. It really has cheered me up and thank you very much. Right, uh, I suppose we should crack on really, find out what the dwarves are up to today. Uh, and uh, today's plan, out of curiosity, is we want to try and get complex stone masonry and the reason why we're doing that is because we would like to finish off constructing this thing which is almost done uh, and i'd love to see that i'd like to see that made by the end of the episode uh, also this is part of my plan to construct that thing by uh chiseling out these little side tubes i don't know what you call it when a mining when you mine down and then you make little side outcropping things if i was a professional doing this stuff I would have actually looked up mining terms but I'm not a professional at doing this stuff so I don't know what mining terms are well there we go um, I'm also I, I remember last episode I said I was trying to get another dwarf and I would try and build more dwarf housing over here but obviously I was thwarted 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 by the presence of this cave I might have had a beer or two today to celebrate the fact that it's to me it's Friday so I'm a little ahead of you guys um, but today I am drinking as promised the uh, where is it let me get the beer out here I am drinking the vocation breakfast club 2.0 beer and I will put a link in the description I'm not sponsored by these people I just think if you have the opportunity to drink this nice beer you should do um, uh, yeah so uh, yeah I'm drinking today um, all right so um, I suppose without further ado, we should do what we should normally do. We should look at the world map, see if there's any shiz going on in the world map. Uh, we can't... We should t totally do this at some point. One day, one day, one episode of Complete This Order. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, also, this order, I, I don't feel that like this is beyond the, our ability to... Yeah, I'm, I'm sad by this. I now know what 15 coins is. It's 15 bronze coins. The tight bastards. Um, we can't do that. We can't build swords. We don't have a, a reliable source of, of fur and leather. Leather fur. I don't know what. What do we need to do that? See, um, nope. It's not there, is it? It's here. Uh, we don't have a reliable source of hide. It's like fur, isn't it? Hide. So um, we can't do that. So I think the best bet is to try and expand this. Get our and get our mountain lore up and try and build some side shoots here and, and try and get more so we can build this big foundry so we can I don't even know what this is gonna give me. It's exciting, isn't it? Also one of the things I was thinking. Oh it does tell you. I was thinking it would be good if the game told you what you needed to build these things, but it does. <laughs> I'm just blind. Right. Okay, so let's begin. I'd like to get another dwarf because we've got dwarf houses. I was looking in the um while well, we, we just mull for a second. I was looking at the, what do you call it, the early access stuff that's coming, and it does look like dwarven faction relationships are coming, so that's gonna be good. So hopefully you have to like house them in their own little zones and there'll be a little bit more complexity to like these, um, these dwarven houses. So what are we doing over here anyway? I mean, at least no one's stuck in the walls <laughs> this time. Mm. It's just beer. I do feel like there's dwarves at the moment. All right. Just uh, yeah. Just go over here. Yeah, yeah. But I, I am, I am very much appreciating all your your views and your your many hours watched and your likes and stuff like that. It, it, it is cheering me up in these dark days of lockdown. Um. Yeah, so I suppose hopefully one day these dwarves will get on and, and do what I've asked them to do. Oh, cool. Right, so we just keep need to expand these things, get more dwarven law. See, look, build this up. Mountain law, dwarven law, waves. I mean, they're letting me down by just being so crap, really. Um, let's level up this guy. Um, it should be what do I want I don't really care to be honest 
I, I have to say that in this game that I feel that these stats are a little bit abstract really I think maybe it could be a little I don't know maybe it'll matter later on but I feel like they're a little bit what's the word a little too obtuse for them to um, make a lot of difference we should also you know get our oh, also we're, we, bear in mind we are still looking for the god of the forge freaking god of the forge or as I like to call him, the dickhead of the forge. No dwarf can find their way here. Well, why not? What? Why? What's wrong? What's wrong with? What's wrong with here? Seriously. Right. Let's try that again. It's always weird. Weird. What? What are you doing? Yeah. Stupid dwarves. Oh yeah, we're getting 20. We got 20. Yep, good. Well, that's what I was thinking we should do. I wonder what lamps do. Might just set up a lamp. Do we? Because I think we've got lamps. We've got one of those and we've got lumber. Yeah, I'll just set up a lamp here. Let's see what it means. Good, good, good. We're getting our mountain lore up. Good. Because we do need water. Right. Let's check out the overland and see if they've got any more stuff for us to do. Nope. Nope. Uh. Yeah, alright. We'll do that. No, can't do that. Can't do that. Let's get these built. Axe heads. For the people who don't know how to cut down lumber. The idiots who can't cut lumber properly. What's that? A butcher's axe. What do you use butcher's axes for? Just like... I guess butchering. It's not like a cooking thing. That's what all, all I mean. Yeah, yeah, well, all right, okay. Let's go. They've got a weird way of doing things, haven't they? It's like, why are you, why are you cutting into the rock this way? Like, you started here, and then you, like, started down here, and... I don't know. If you saw my face now, I'd be like, I don't understand. Let's try and make a crab broth to get that. Make me a crab broth. Crab broth. Make me one of those. Oh, we've got a crab. Yep. <laughs> right. Oh, it's war time. I don't know if we can make machine parts. Uh, give me a sec. Let's pause the game. Let's see what we need to do to make machine parts. Oh, are you going to be something that impends my... Right. That's really annoying. Uh, elevator rail. Half long, which elevator platforms can move between two elevator stations. Well, ele elevators? Oh, that's exciting. Okay. <laughs> But, look at that, in Mountain Law 25, do I do that? Stop the war? Stop the complex masonry? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what to do. I mean, don't worry, I'll come to a decision fairly soon. I care more about complex masonry than that. Than, than this, I think. So, let the world burn. That's what I say. It's crude to me, isn't it? It's crude to me. 
But I want to build this. I'm a man who wants to build a thing. A dwarf who wants to build a thing. See, maybe we can turn this into an elevator shaft. Of course, that would require me getting the other things. The fiery underworld. Okay. It's good. We are mining. I mean, I'm not sure what I, I should really say about this, really. We're not making a great deal of progress in any other way. <laughs> We're just going down and across. And expanding, but I feel that this expansion is important to the progress of the colony. I mean, we're never going to find a fucking ancient god, god of the forge without looking for him, are we? No, Uncle Yarn. Your, your path is righteous. Good. Good. Good in a monologue, Ugg. <laughs> I mean, that's what doors do. They dig and stuff. Look at that. We got. We're making some progress now. I mean, you're not making progress this bit. You, you're letting me down. You're letting everyone down. You're letting your hold down. Your home down. Your half down. All the things that a dwarves loves. You are letting them down. They're not the best at digging these guys. Maybe they've got like crappy tools. And maybe I'm partially responsible for that. But you know. I can't be responsible for everything in this bloody place. No, I can't. No, oh, you can't, Ugg. Yep, good. All right. What's going on there? Snowy rock. No, I reckon once we're uh, done with a lot of this stuff, we should have our, our 35 law and we should be good while I'm like mulling and, and just sitting around waiting for dwarves to get um, like the the rock together what's going on there we just found coal um, just saying I might, I might have a I might have a day off tomorrow because that'll be like Sunday off for me. I'm a day ahead of you guys. So, um, might have a Sunday off. I'm off from Hamilton. I might give it a go at playing some more um, Surviving the Apocalypse. Apocalypse? The Aftermath. <laughs> as as I keep reading it in my head. So I might, I might give that a go. Just chuck a video up there. So it'd be good if you could uh, give a view of that. Because I started playing after the Aftermath. Um, you can see Ugtown. It's a bit crap. It's like this place, but um, you know, post-apocalyptic and no dwarves and, and completely different. Let's just see if there's any uh, dwarves up for being recruited. See that dwarf? That's seven. That's 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 reasonable. These dwarves are real. <gasps> that dwarf's not reasonable. Why is he? Look at him. How the fuck are you supposed to get that much gold? Right, okay, we're gonna go for this gun elf who sounds like a, a level one dwarf who sounds like a cheap ripoff of um, Gandalf. On it. Let's complete that. And let's see what's in here for sale because this is normally where the stuff sells. These are worth a lot. Okay, right. Sell you, sell you, and sell you. And you just selling them. Oh my god, I sell stuff and they, and they immediately take all my money. Stop taking my money, you 
greedy fucking dwarves. Ah, oh, God. By hook or by crook, I investigate this damn mountain. I mean, the guy, they still haven't built this yet. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, they found a... There's a cave. <gasps> that is exciting. Look at this. Cave, people. Will it be the cave that contains the God of the Forge? Will it? Will it? I don't know. Probably not. It might be that, you never know. I mean, the god of the, I mean, how deep do I have to dig? Actually, I could probably dig a bit, bit deeper than this. Apparently, I was looking, apparently the cave entrance has weather. Hello, cave entrance. Uh, no weather at there at the moment. Right. Let's craft a few more of these. And a few more of these. All right, it's something good. To see, I mean, we've got shitloads of bronze lying about. I mean, most of the bronze is at the bottom of this freaking hole or copper. How are we doing on the overworld anyway? I'm just checking. Look, we've got like 15 out of like, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. Um, I'll, I'll get that, I'll do that. Why not? Um, we can't do that at the moment. We, we, did we just pick it up? Oh god, I wish that would tell me. We we need to build. Yeah, they need swords. We need swords. Okay, I know. I'm aware. Game. I can't do that. Okay, right. Well, I like the fact they got a wood pigeon out in the uh, in the overworld. There's a wood pigeon. It's cute. Wood pigeons are good. I like them. Wood pigeons frequent my frequent frequent my garden frequently. Common visitors to my garden. They wander around eating the food. So I just found out that um, the UK might be on like some sort of crazy ass lockdown as well. Uh, from like ne early next week, slightly irritating. I guess you know people have got to be socially responsible, and they're not being socially responsible, which is irritating. Wish people would be socially responsible. You know, just uh, do all the things the government say, and uh, you know. Stop crying about things. I mean, you know, I understand that anxiety and things are real, but, you know, social norm to wear a face covering and all that stuff. I mean, you know, I'm not getting political or anything like that. I just think, I think you should do it. It just makes sense, you know. What's the harm? What's the harm of doing it? Doctors are telling you to do it as well. You know, doctors told you to do something else. You'd be all like, oh, I'll do that. That's reasonable. Doctors say the good things all the time and people do them. <laughs> all right. We've got enough gold to get a new dwarf. Let's get a freaking dwarf. Let's do it. Recruit a dwarf. A crap dwarf. I shall call you. You should be crap dwarf. It's been a long time since we've had a new dwarf in the place. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll say, assign that dwarf there and then I'll assign is it that one there and then it's like that one and that one and they're both together and they're like nice like clan steel song who like 
doing stuff. It's nice. They like doing stuff together, but you know, that's a cool name for a clan actually. Uh, yep, yeah, still song. I like that. The clans have got pretty cool names. Have they got cool names? I don't know. High Peak, that's pretty cool. Uh, Rivershaw, oh, they're very uh, Gold Heart. And it's like Moon, probably. Dark Moon. Oh, like the Dark Moon Fairies, except, you know, Dwarves. Hopefully this young dwarf will come into the into the the hold and start making a big impact, increasing stuff, the speed at which we do stuff. Nope, we got 30 now. Five more to go. I have absolutely no idea if you if you're finding this particularly interesting. I mean I'm I'm sort of limited by what I want to do because I need to get I need to get that um Need to get that mountain knowledge up. And sadly, the only way I can do that is by digging. Digging left, digging right, digging up, digging down. Well, not up, just across, really. They'll do it for me. The dwarves won't let me down. They never let me down. Ugh, get attacked by insects again. Oh no, it's not an insect. Good. There's coal, there's coal. Coal's good, I suppose. Oh, does that mean I can carry on seeing things while they're... Oh, that's good, that increases my line of sight. See, why don't you tell me that, game? I'm gonna wait, I feel almost sorry for these guys, like, down here in the dark. On their own, but I suppose they are dwarves, so they're not unused to it. Actually, it kind of feels a bit like um, what's the word? It feels a bit like uh the way you'd actually mine out a mountain. You, this is the way you'd do it, isn't it? You'd like, you go, you dig down and then you did sort of like, I suppose you'd do it three dimensionally around you, but you dig, you dig side shoots off from your main shafts to, um, and so I'm just looking at what that is. Fog of war, ice and coal. Um, yeah, you dig side shards off to sort of like gather minerals and stuff. I've been in mines. I know what they like. <laughs> See that? And then we got something like this. And it's a terrifying cavern that could be potentially full of evil. What is that? A fog of ice and coal? Is ice something we can mine? Ice? I guess it is. Hmm. I hope no one attacks us because like we're completely there's literally no one upstairs. 
come on, <laughs> we got enough. What do we get for doing that? I don't know. I don't know what we get for doing that. What's that? Go this way, and this way. As soon as I get like thirty five, I'll um, I'll go and build the um, large quarry. Come on game, one more to go. Right, let's check the other world out while we're checking things. Uh, eggs? Oh, I like an egg. Oh my god, these people have got loads of stuff. Okay, right. They give us that, and they only want like... Granite slabs. And, and beams. Well, so we can do that. Granite slabs and beams. That's what we got. We're, we're, we're busy completing those. I remember that. Uh, well, we can complete that. Uh, we can complete that. And oh my God, the lumber people—they're so shit. <laughs> Shitty lumber people. All right. Let's get on and build those axe heads. And right. they're so shit. Right. <laughs> it's just the shittest axe people ever. So like every time we cut down that tree, we use an axe head. It's like, why are you like this? Oh, look at that. We've done it right. Uh, right, let's uh, get this complex stone masonry. We've done it. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Pause time. What have we got? We've got a brazier. To warm and light the way. Lantern posts. We still got scaffold stairs and doors and stone chests. And what have we got? We have the quarry. A mine to mine the mountain and then hew from it the stones upon which the home is built. Uh, oh lord, that thing's massive. It's massive. Okay, that's fine. I mean, what do you do with it? when you've got a large quarry requirement installation? Do you build it up here? Or do you stick it underground? I'll give you a clue, stick it underground. All right. See? All right, and then you build mortar. I don't know how to build mortar. We'll check out mortar. Uh, Water. We need water, crushed granite, and lime. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry. Crushed granite. Uh, water. And lime. And I believe lime comes from pit. I was paying attention. See? And that comes from bone ash. Which presumably comes from bone. Well, bone. It's bound to come from bone. Make bone here. Bone ash, see? Oh, guys, how to do things, honestly. <laughs> right, get them doors back. These guys will build this. What do we need? We need water, mortar, granite slabs. Come on. 
Come on, team. I've got to unpause them, obviously. This is exciting, though. We've built the, uh, the large quarry, and we've got like all the components being made for um oh we need bones waiting for bones okay for bone ash that makes a lot of sense in fact <laughs> i don't know have we got bones where do we get bones from i guess killing stuff and killing stuff that has bones That's good. I mean, I'm tempted to go for this. Let's look and see what we actually have to do. Uh, I mean, we've got like 29, so I like to establish my fire you will respect Matafata and we will establish it. Copper ingots, granite pellet, granite slabs. I mean, we can slam it in here. Did I put that in wrong? No, I've never done something foolish to put it in there. Wrong. This is me. <laughs> I mean, what, what's wrong with me putting it in there? What's the, what's the problem? Good to game. Okay. Gotta uncover this fog of war. That's fine. Got a dwarf with a. to be leveled up. Uh, no. Uh, a lot more generic yet. Alright, beautiful. Uh, deliver. And deliver. Oh, we're like running low on money as well. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I do want to see what's down here, though, because remember, I, I, don't worry, guys. I haven't forgotten the eternal quest downwards. I never forget the quest down. silver maybe we can just sell silver for like you know silver silver for silver that's the way it works isn't it silver for, for silver maybe not Right, let's check how the bone ash is coming. Oh yeah, see that they found bones. We're still waiting on a bone or two. How can a mushroom grow here? 
harvest stupid mushrooms growing on my ground. Let's just check out the wall. Let's see how it's going. It's still alright. It's still okay, you know. People that we got defeated, but that's fine. Right, they want swords and they're gonna give us stay coins and they want mushrooms and they give us coins. We could do that. Where the hell am I supposed to get bones from? I don't know. Uh, we should sell that. And we should sell that. Alright. And we should deliver that. And deliver that. I'm just looking at the... Uh, Yeah, we do want to sell that because because it's more war. We need to keep the the machine of war going. That's what we need to do. Where the, the frickity frick do I get bones from? You haven't got bones because you are a. <gasps> I think we found it. I think we found the the god of the forge. It's a miracle. Hey, hallelujah, dwarves. Is that a bone? Is that bone? Nope. We'll investigate. Oh God, omens of war. All right, what do you want now? Omens of war. Ugh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I can't, I can't build that yet. I'll do it soon. Very soon. No. reading here what this is oh is that it's not the it's not the god of the dwarf forge fucking <laughs> what does this do a grave poppy I don't know all oh, right so the buildings underground is this something we have to do with this Rat holes. <laughs> so continues the fracking search for the for the fracking crown possible to find shit. Is this so we can mine out? No. Oh, we can rummage through here. Maybe there'll be bones there. Oh, there's loads of stuff here. I get a bit more discovery. We got sort of this stuff anyway, so. Don't worry, the quest continues.
No, it turns out this cave was just that cave. Okay, that's fine. Oh, more rummaging opportunities. <laughs> so frustrating. We can't make more. Really make more to. Oh, we need lime. And to build lime, we need bone ash. We need bone ash. We need to get. We need bones. We need more than one bone. Arr. I will not let. A little thing like me not knowing what the hell's going on. Let me get it down. New, no, new, no, new. No. Right. Because that's not that's not in the spirit of dwarven um, ingenuity. That. Nope. Ooh, what's this? A toilet. And one of those. Rubbing here. We keep going rummaging. We keep rummaging. What's that? Coal and iron machine parts and iron machine parts. How many iron machine parts have we got lying around? Uh, hold on, job broker. No, I don't want to talk to the job broker. You hold on. Um, uh, bones, one bone. Fuck you, bone. <laughs> Uh, where is it? The parts. Oh, okay. Oh, is it page two? Oh. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> Why does it stick out this way? Okay. No. It's scaring me. All right. I need a brave dwarf. Hello, brave dwarf. I need you to go down here. Oh, no. You. You'll be, you'll soon be brave. Come here. Go here. Oh my god, it's like a super experienced dwarf, that one. Right. He's more experienced than I could possibly imagine. Look how good he is. Why can't I sell these dwarves? That would be good. If I could sell them. Are you just making these things? Okay. I'm not liking. Okay, well that's good though, because we got loads of dwarf or mountain law from doing that, so um, I appreciate that. Thank you, dwarf. Your uh, and that means we can make machinery, and that means we can quickly see if we can get this done. Uh, this one here, and that, and then that, and then that, and then let's try and manufacture some machinery. Uh, it's going to be here in it. Um, might maybe not is it here ah yes I know what's going on right I mean it's only going to be like what metal sheets all right that's fine oh, we can make some metal sheets and we'll up them and metal sheets require ingots and we've got ingots coming out of our asses all right Elevator shaft. 
elevator platform. Cause I'm not paying any attention to what it actually costs to build these things. Copper ore, copper ore. Okay. I'm gonna say I wanted more options for transporting stuff, but I don't know. Okay, right, so they move between two points connected with the elevator route. This is the elevator route. And that's the elevator station. Okay. I am not. Right. Oh, we managed to do that. Yes, good. Ha <laughs> ha. Go dwarves, we got that done. Right. Uh, yep, do that. And and level that up there. Uh, you know what? I probably won't. Um, I probably won't have tomorrow off. I'll probably do some stuff. Cause um, I'm still enjoying this. It is good fun. No more work to do. No, no more work to do. Oh my god, how can your work be done? That's outrageous that a dwarves a dwarves work is never done. Right. Oh wonder how many ingots I've got. No, not the job freaking broker. Let's see what we got. We got copper ingots. Surely we've only got that many. Oh, how much copper ore have we got? Hmm, who knows? What I need is a, a brave. Have we got all the bits of this? Uh, yeah, granite chunks. Good. Hmm. I mean, you know. Let's slam some granite chunks out. Right. We've got all this. I think I'll be blade forging next. We've got to learn to make swords, I think. Complex stone weaving. I'm not bothered by that. We gotta make swords. <laughs> yes, this is something not to forget the whitesmith hammer. Sweet. Okay, right. So we've got to do swords so we can start making hard tack and getting getting that shit sorted out. Right. I mean, I don't know where a good place to um, tell you what. I need to dig this out some more so I can build that dwarven. Great hold the uh, this thing here. The great hold. Where do I get bones from? I mean, it's fine, I don't know at the moment. Let's check the overland. Maybe they've got freaking bones. Actually, hold on. Uh, anyone want to give me bones? What's this? Rat hides. 
Where the fuck am I supposed to get rat hides from? Honestly, these people. I'm a dwarf. Ask me for stones. See, look, these people have got the right idea, haven't they? Fucking floor, I can do that. Flooring and copper. <laughs> oh, more eggs. Fucking heads. Dickheads. No, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. I need, seriously, I need a, a serious amount of swords. Right. Axe heads. Again. We're going deep around the ground. Actually, I do need it. This is like the shaft of all, all wealth. I do want you to go over here, though. Check this out. No? You don't want to check it out for me? You're going up there to do something. Dickhead. Oh, it does go up slowly. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know what we do with red poppies. Just looking, just looking around. I'm just mulling what we do with these elevators, really. I don't really know. That's fine, I don't have to know all the answers straight away, do I? I will discover. I was thinking, like, I should maybe make it like a... Oh my god, I've still got miles to go. I've got literal miles. Just give us something to do, we'll go left and right again. This pit has all the wealth in the world in it, doesn't it? I suppose it's the resultant of going like a million miles down. That's good. What do we need to build this in? Do we need... We, oh, we need mortar. Why are we so reliant on freaking bones? <laughs> Where are we supposed to get bones from? I don't know. Hmm. Games all like, what are you gonna do, Ugg? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Worry, panic, send some stuff for. Mm. Let's look at the overground mission. Maybe they'll give me bones. Bones? No bones? Why would you give me bones? No, you suck. <laughs> Ratides, fuck off. All this crap for fuck all money. <laughs> so, why are you bastards so tight? Ugh. No, oh my God.
I don't have a single dwarf who wants to go over there yet either. Is this not made of bones? Look, it literally looks like it's made of bones. And that thing looks like it's made of bones. You're not made of bones, are you? Maybe dwarves have got bones, goblins have got bones in them. Look up and see him, hold on. Still drinking my beer. Mm. It's very nice. It's blueberry flavoured. <laughs> Alright, come on. I'm not sure what we do with grey poppies either. Are they worth money? cabbage Redstone. Ah, it is the stuff of dread, this stone. Oh, it looks like coal. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right, can I keep exploring? I can't help but feel my viewers want me to go further, further, further south. <sighs> right, just noticing the sounds. They change, right. Uh, let's dig through here. In an active investigation. Yep, we're digging. I want to way back up though because I've 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 errored before with this sort of thing. Is that a bone? Free to rummage through there. Cool. Yep, we're excavating. It's going well. But now it turns out that I'm prevented from continuing by the lack of bonage. <laughs> right. And on the oh, the next episode, I will work out how to get bones. And maybe a bit more money. Is 
Jaws are crazy for ore. You little weirdo, come over here. It's like literally, come on, I want you to just come over here and look. I would like a dwarf to come and look over here, please. Just sit. Stop. Okay, that's fine. I mean, there's not a lot over there. I can I can deal with that. Mm. Maybe they'll start giving me bones soon. No, nope, no bones. Garbage. Garbage. I can't believe I actually want just bones. Give me bones. <laughs> uh, I'll take that though. That's good. That's a good reward. Gals for copper. And bacon for copper. Yeah, I'll have that. And swords. And that good. Right. Right. Well, as we dig deeper and deeper underground, unfortunately, it appears that our time has run out. And it's going to be great. Maybe next episode I'll work out how to find freaking bones. Ugh. Right. Well, if you have got this far, as always, I would like to thank you for watching this far. It, it really, It really does mean a lot to me. And if you could throw me a like, if you could subscribe to me, or ring the bell for notifications, and do all the other stuff you do. You know YouTube by now. It'll be most appreciated. Until next time, I'm going to pause the game. And I will see you next time for a bit more hammer team. See you later, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.